Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everyone, and worship Him. Give Him glory, give Him honor, give Him all the adoration. It's the beginning of the second quarter. The first quarter is gone. Now we are in the second quarter. Give Him glory, give Him honor. I appreciate the Lord. Thank Him for January, thank Him for February, thank Him for March, thank Him now for the beginning of April. Exalt His holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be honored. Lift his name high. What a mighty God we serve. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We lift your name high. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be adored. We appreciate you, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Glory be to your holy name. Accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Oh Maria Koto Sheketelebo. Mandela e katala ba yanderebo. Erebo yendere makorara ba yendele makoto lobo yandara marebo sheketelebo. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, mighty name we have worshipped. Our Father and our God, we just want to bless your holy name. Thank you for bringing us into the second quarter of this year. Thank you for January, thank you for February, thank you for March, and thank you for a new beginning, the month of April. Glory be to your holy name. Please accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, this morning, send your word to us again. Even as it is written, you sent forth your word, your word heal them and deliver them from their destruction. Let your word heal, let your word deliver this morning, O oh Lord. Just let all be well and let your name be praised. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Go ahead and give the Lord a really big clap of praise. And then you may please be seated. Thank you very much, uh, choir. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Welcome to the month of April. It's the beginning of the second quarter. In this month, there will be Easter celebration. And there will be anniversary celebration. Glory be to God. Our theme for the month of April is redemption. Um, and this morning, by the grace of God, I'll be speaking on the message titled, Paid in Full. Paid in Full. John 3, verse 16. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Paid in full. Brethren, we are all born into sin since the fall of man. Man, every man was born into sin. Genesis chapter 3 will be the reference. Man fell the garden of Eden. A cause was placed on man. The devil will always come to enforce the fact that man fell and will want to bring the consequences at all times on man. And that's why sickness, disease, pain, sorrow, shame, lack, poverty, and death on a daily basis look for the human race. The pains of the fall of man has no respect even for age, for it begins from, from infancy. I mean, I read in the newspaper, one of the Nigerian newspapers, a, a, a baby was born and didn't get to do blood transfusion. I don't know how that happens, but it happens in one of the teaching hospitals in Nigeria. In, in error, they, they put, you know, infected, HIV infected blood into the baby. The baby had not committed a sin as such, but arrived into trouble. Our sins have put us in captivity from which we need to be delivered. The price is life for life, and so man is unable to pay for himself. But well, glory be to God. Jesus Christ took the call to pay the price, and he paid in full. 
The price that is paid to deliver someone from captivity is called a ransom. He paid the ransom. Who will pay for man? Jesus took the place of man. Pay for the debt he did not hold. And for the debt man could not pay. He paid it all. When he said it is finished. If you don't know what has been paid for, you may be fooled out of the benefit. I think it was one year, one of the children's annual vacation trip, that they gave us um, a ticket. I didn't know it's um, a whole day meal. <laughs> so which means once you have that ticket, anywhere you show up, you just eat. So I went somewhere to eat, I paid. So it was later I found out that uh, oh, everybody in our group they were just eating and not paying. <laughs> you may be holding a whole day dining at Disney and still be paying for food if you don't know what has been paid for. The price of a flight ticket for two individuals may be the same. But the benefit enjoyed may be different. I realize that also. You know, I, I, I think sometimes some of us don't believe anything can be free. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, um, I, I traveled once. And I was economy. So if you travel economy, I mean, you have no business at, at the lounge. So I was where economy should be. But I saw a colleague of mine that I was so sure was in the economy as well. But I didn't see him all the time we're at the gate. So we got to Paris. And I didn't see him again. I was so tired on that trip that I, I slept on the floor in the, at, at the gate. So when I saw him, he was shining. He was looking very fresh. I said, we didn't take the same flight. I said, where have you been? He said, I've been in the lounge. I said, lounge? Did you buy business? He said, no. I bought the economy, but I'm a frequent flyer. I said, ah, what does that mean? <laughs> he said, oh, you are a frequent flyer too. I said, how do you mean? Then he explained it to me. We paid for the same ticket. We got different benefits. You see, if you don't know what Jesus paid for, you will still be suffering. You know, until you stop the un unwarranted bill sent to your house, they will keep sending it. You've gone to the hospital, for example. You ask them, is this all? They say yes. I'm paying cash, say yes. Okay, take. But do you know they are still sending you bills? And if you do nothing about it, you will continue to pay the bill. The devil keeps sending the bill that has been fully paid. If you don't know what's been paid for by Jesus, you will keep paying for the debt you couldn't pay in the first place. And this is what is going on around. Believers not understanding what Jesus has paid for, they knew he paid something. <laughs> but they don't know what it is. So, this morning, I want to at least show us three things that people are usually unaware of that Jesus paid for. The redemption package is a comprehensive one. If you don't know your benefits, you may be denied. You may be denied. My wife paid for one of the trips, I, I think it was North San Antonio or some of it. You know, there's an there's, uh, all day meal for uh, children and then for adults. And I think on the occasion, they, gave, they mix it up, the one for children, they give to, to adults, and the, the benefits are different. If she had kept quiet, you would have been denied. So I said, no, I know what I paid for. Many of us, we don't even know what Jesus paid for. And so the devil will send the bill, and we are still struggling to pay by ourselves what Jesus paid for. So let's pick three of them quickly and then I will be done soon. Number one, Christ redeemed us from the cause of the law. Christ redeemed us from the cause of the law, having become a cause for us. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. 
Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Listen to me. There are causes. And he has no respect for race, whether you are black or white. And many of the causes are generational. They are there. And the devil will want to check on your ignorance. If he finds ignorance around you, he brings the cause back. And many don't know what to tell him. Just like when they send bills to your house. You keep paying, you keep paying. They will keep sending. So this guy has money. Until one day when you pick up the, 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 the phone. And you prove to them that it's been paid. And don't ever send this bill to this address again. Then they stop. We have no business with causes. But many are still going through causes. The sickness that killed the grandfather, you know, killed the father. Now the sickness is now showing traits in the person. And the person said, well, you know, by the way, the hospital confirmed to you, God, they ask you, is it in your family? He said, yes. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, you are likely to die. The person is likely to die too, not you. But until you say, ah, uh -uh, I am saved. I'm a child of God. Jesus went to the cross, he paid the price. I should not have the same cause that killed my father, grandfather. I mean, no, no, Jesus paid it. And you face the matter head on. Because what you are not aware of that is being paid for, you will still pay for it. Number two, I'm almost done. Christ redeemed us. From the guilt of our sin. From the guilt of our sin. Romans 3.24. Romans 3.24. And if devil asks you, how do you know? Show him this scripture. How do you know you are free from causes? Galatians 3.13 and 14. Speak to him. It is written. Christ redeemed me from the curse of the law. He hangs on the tree. Because curse is one who hangs on the tree. I'm entitled to the, to the blessings of Abraham and not the causes of Adam. Because if you don't, it will keep sending the bill of causes. So the guilt of sin is number two. Romans 3.24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, we are justified. The devil will tell you how many times you committed abortion and why God cannot answer your prayer. So how can God answer your prayer? Don't you know how many children you kill? You are praying to Jesus. You don't know how many sins you committed. It will remind you the one you committed in elementary school. It will remind you of the one you committed in high school. And yet you yourself say, ah, it's true. My sins are really heavy. Am I sure Jesus really paid for it? And the guilt keeps coming back. Many lives in the guilt of their past sins continually. You see people, they've answered altar call. They've not committed another sin where they made another altar call. You see that some people answer altar call eight times. Because each time, the devil say, you born again? How? I say, huh? Didn't you see me last week when I gave my life to Christ? You? Your sin is too much. And guilt is there. And guilt is painful. Many are tormented by the devil on the sins that Jesus has forgiven. Don't let the devil mess up your salvation. Jesus paid the price for your sin. And it doesn't matter how heavy or how light, because sin is sin. He has got no weight before God. Rahab was a prostitute. Saul of Tarsus was there when they killed Stephen. He was guilty of murder, of a saint. But Jesus picked him and said, I want to use you. Your sins are forgiven. Sin no more. That woman was caught in adultery. They brought her. and said, Jesus, Moses said we should stone this woman to death. She was caught in adultery. Even though the law said the two should come. But they brought only this woman. And Jesus said, whoever has not sinned before, you cast the first stone. 
And they all went away embarrassed and ashamed. Jesus looked at her. Your sins are forgiven, but go and sin no more. When Christ forgives, he forgives. He's not a man who says, I've forgiven you. But when you do something, that's what, that's, what, that's what you did last year. You have started. You have started. That's what you did last year. He paid for our sin. We must just not go back to the same sin. So don't kneel down wanting to pray and the devil is whispering to you, you sinner, your prayers can't be answered. And you start crying. And he asked, why are you crying? He said, I just remember the sin I committed two years ago. Oh, I thought you confessed it. I thought you have repented. He said, yes, but something just keeps telling me that it doesn't look like I've been forgiven. Ah. Many are condemned all day long when Christ has justified them by the work of redemption. Romans 8 verse 1. Romans 8 verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit. Are you born again? Your sins are forgiven. For as long as you don't return back to your vomit, your sins are forgiven. Don't let the devil come back to you presenting you with the bill that Jesus already paid. Tell him it's paid for already and now there is no longer condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Satan, you can't condemn me. I'm justified by Christ. Get out of here. If you are clapping for the Lord who paid the price, then go ahead and can clap for him. Finally, Christ redeemed us from the power of sin. Sin wants to hold us down. See, many people have New Year resolution. New Year resolution has become an annual ritual for many, leading to early frustration every year because the power of sin is allowed to hang around. When I wasn't saved, every year in January, this year, this alcohol thing, I will, I will stop. Sometimes I will tell myself I will not be drinking the inexpensive one anymore. I will go to the very expensive one, the one I can't afford. And in that year, we have some friends who will buy it. And give it to me so it became even worse than the previous year after two, three weeks. New year resolution cannot, cannot conquer the power of sin. But when you give your life to Christ, part of the benefit is the fact that the power of sin is destroyed. So whenever sin shows up and is coming because you see him come and say, no, Jesus conquered you. You can no longer overpower me in sin. I can't do this again. No, I did it before, but not again. Now that I'm born again, Jesus paid for it. The power of sin is destroyed over my life. Brethren, these things are spiritual warfare. They are spiritual matters. You have to enforce your right. You can't stop them from sending bill to your house. If you say nothing, they will keep sending the bill until you say no more. Don't allow the devil to present you the bill that has been paid already. This is America. You should understand this. There are all manner of bills sent to us in the house that is not our bill. Stop paying the bill to the devil that Jesus already paid by the blood that he shed at Calvary. First Peter 1, 18, 19. First Peter 1, 1, 18, 19. Knowing that you are not redeemed with the perishable things like silver or gold from your futile way of life inherited from your fathers, but with the precious blood as of a lamb, unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ. So when the devil comes to you, tell him, what are you talking about? Jesus paid. He said, how? Not with silver, not with gold. He paid with the shed blood. He paid with his blood. And it was once and for all. It's once and for all. Done. As I close, you must enforce your settlement right. Jesus paid in full, not in part. Don't allow the devil to keep sending you the bill that Jesus already said to. Present him the receipt in the shed blood of Jesus. Although Jesus paid in full, everyone must accept the receipt of payment by surrendering to the Lordship of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing goes for nothing. If Jesus paid the bill to get you out of captivity of the devil, then he deserves to be your Lord and your Savior. You must choose 
to either remain in the captivity of Satan or freely enjoy the salvation available in Christ Jesus. We all must make that choice. That's why our text says, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever is a choice. Whosoever is a choice. Believers in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus paid it all. Stop paying the bills that Jesus set you. When as the devil comes your way, tell him, get out of here. Because Jesus paid in full. Can we rise? He loves me, I cannot say why. Jesus loves me, he loves me, I cannot say why. On Calvary dream, he suffered for me. He loves me. Thanksgiving service, the first thing that we should do is to thank him for the salvation of our souls, for as many who are saved. If you have not given your life to Christ, you will continue to pay the bill that the devil present. You will have no choice, otherwise he will torment you. And you can't pay it all because it is life for life. So those who are saved, thank God for the salvation of your soul. If you are not saved, thank him that you are alive till now. At least you can give your life to Christ today. Let's thank him. Give him praise. Appreciate him. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. If you are here and you are not born again, we will not close the service without giving you the opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus. It's very simple. You can raise your hand where you are. And then say, I'm, I'm, I'm saved, I'm born again. God bless you. Raise it up. You are not too young to be saved. God bless you, my son. God bless you. God bless you. Keep your hand up there. You know, maybe you're in the virtual church. Just do exactly the same thing. Go ahead and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. That's all you need to say. I confess my sin. I repent of them. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Please save my soul. If you pray that prayer, then you are born again. You are saved. That's all it takes. And I'll be praying for you now. Lord God Almighty, as many as, as, as are giving their life to you now, save their souls. Forgive them their sins, O God, and let it be well from, with them from now on. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. A number will be on the screen, a contact. Just reach out to us, and then we'll be in touch with you. Now, the rest of us, in fact, all of us, let's go ahead and say, Father. Say, Lord, and class. Say, Father, I reject every cause still hanging over my life and family. Jesus paid in full and I've been redeemed from the cost of the law. So I command every cost over my life and family to be destroyed permanently today in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus paid it all. He paid in full. Jesus paid in full. I've been redeemed from the cost of the law. So I command every cost over my life and family to be destroyed completely. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Go ahead and say, Father, I destroy the power of sin over my life by the shed blood of Jesus, and I'm no longer slave to sin. In the name of Jesus, I'm no longer slave to sin. No longer slave to sin. No more. I destroy the power of sin over my life. Destroy the power of sin over my life. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the power of sin over my life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Finally, say, I have been forgiven by the perfect work of redemption at Calvary. Satan, get thee behind me. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. I am a child of God. No longer slave to fear. I'm a child of God. Satan, get out of here. Jesus paid it all. He paid it all. I can no longer be tormented because Jesus paid it all. He paid it. He paid in full, not in part. He paid in full, not in part. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.
Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word. Thank you because you paid the price in full for the salvation of our souls. Therefore, we are no longer slaves to fear. We are no longer slaves to sin in the name of Jesus. Every cause still hanging over the head and family and life of any child of God under the sound of my voice. Jesus paid it all. That cause is therefore destroyed permanently from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of sin is destroyed in the name of Jesus. No more fear in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your name, O God. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Go ahead, give the Lord a big hand for the perfect walk of, at Calvary. And then you may be seated. Before we close, let's give the Lord uh, a worthy offering this morning. As you know, first Sunday of every month is Thanksgiving. So among everything you are going to give this morning, make sure you include Thanksgiving. Because in RCCG every Sunday, every first Sunday of the month is Thanksgiving. Let's thank God for bringing us into a new month. And in this case, into a new, a new quarter. Um, I spoke a little bit on the on children's trip. It's a trip we have with our children every every year. This year in July, I think July 11th or the 16th or so, we'll be going to California. You know, the details have been. Let's give the Lord a big hand. That's a big one. It's the first time we are going that side. And we've gone to many many places, but it's the first time we are going to California. Let's give the opportunity to our children, please. This children deserves you know, the very best. I will be there by God's grace. I've, I've not missed any since we started, I think, in 2010. Been in many, many, many cities now. Now, if you are in the virtual church or even here and you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, the best time to do it is now. You will forget after. So go there and subscribe. You know, uh, share the video as well and like. But there are many, many you know, programs that we go live on that you will just automatically receive if you subscribe. Don't miss out of any of our programs. Sunday school is 100% virtual every Sunday at 2 p.m. So today at 2 p.m. on our Zoom channel, you know, make sure uh, you join Sunday school. It's always a time of refreshing. The Maracana Sports Center is our sports um, church. Uh, the service there is in the evening, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. But, you know, you do sports, and, and, and at some point, they take a break and preach and pray. It's a full-fledged church, but it's targeted at, at sports. Our anniversary program is on. If you go on our YouTube channel, the details are all there. Make sure you participate in your different uh, cell groups and teams and houses. Glory be to God. Now, let's rise, and, um, you know, it's Thanksgiving, so, you know dance to God. Um, he loves a cheerful giver. He wants us to thank him even with our dances. So let's dance and enjoy his presence before we, we go. Let's celebrate. Woo!
Is it your birthday today? Anyone? Anyone birthday today? Or this week? What about this week? Why don't you come forward? Or your wedding anniversary in April? Just, just come forward. Just come forward. If it's your birthday this week or your wedding anniversary or something like that. Let's clap for them. Let's celebrate with them. Let's rejoice with them. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, we rejoice with you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will bless you. All the days of your life, the Almighty God will stand by you. You will not be put to shame. You will not be stranded in the journey of life in the mighty name of Jesus. And for every one of us, because we have come to thank God today, this month will be by far better than the previous months in the name of Jesus. And it shall be from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Father, bless our offerings. Use it for your glory. For titles and givers in this house, my Lord and my God, continue to meet all of our needs in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Lord and my God, no one will be stranded financially in the mighty name of Jesus because we are givers. Father, please, Lord, almost remember us, always remember us, oh God, in our finances in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Man, congratulations. Um, uh, we're going to share the grace now. Or it's possible that today is your first Sunday coming. Do we have anyone like that? It's your first Sunday coming to the King's Palace. Uh, oh, please come. God bless you. Please come. If you don't mind, please. Come on, let's clap for her. Wow. First time guest. You are so special. Thank you very much for coming. We celebrate you. The Lord will keep you, He will bless you, He will preserve you. The Lord will meet your needs, He will answer your prayers. You will not be put to shame. Your heart desire shall be granted in the mighty name of Jesus. We pronounce the blessing of the Lord upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless. Let's clap for harm. I don't know if, um, you know. Glory be to God. We'll, we'll, we'll meet you after now. After Let's keep clapping. Let's keep clapping. Let's keep clapping. Glory be to God. Let's keep clapping for him. Hallelujah. Now, let me look at your neighbor and remind them now. So Jesus paid in full. So no more bills. Jesus paid in full. Hallelujah. If you believe me, come on. Shout another hallelujah. And so surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen come on shout another hallelujah see you soon